Dan, that was a 36-5 victory here against Old Sohalians. Kenilworth went behind sort of in the early stages yeah. of that game and then managed to make it so that it was 7-5 at half time and then obviously went on to secure a comprehensive victory. So just give me your thoughts on that performance this afternoon. Yeah, it's a, a tough first half, uh, you know, against the wind in the first half as well, but the lads took at it. Uh, a few balls dropped, uh, a few uh, bad decisions, but they kept going. So, you know, when you're playing against the wind in the first half, you're always up against it. But to go in 7-5 down, not too bad, a lot of frustrations. And then obviously, thankfully, the lads sort of turned it around. You mentioned there the windy conditions. Yeah. It was somewhat blustery here at Glasshouse Lane this afternoon. How pleased were you with the way that the side dealt with those conditions? Because it's never easy to play in such wind, is it? Yeah, I think coming off last year, uh, games like that last year, we could have crumbled and sort of and lost our heads. And I think yeah, Wayno and Chris... Uh, have put together a pretty good uh, squad that can deal with anything and it's nice to see the lads come through a problem and actually problem solve it on the pitch you know lots of difficult you know conditions but also decisions and to see the lads actually pull through and work it out themselves was a credit to them to be honest it's good much much different to what would have happened last year there's obviously no first team fixture this week but you are hoping to get a development fixture together next weekend so that's obviously an opportunity to rest some of the first team players but also very much an opportunity for guys that haven't had any first team opportunities this season so how important could that game be in terms of yeah. blooding more players and returning uh, them from injury? I think it's vital, I mean we had a, a real strong pre-season after Ogmore in Wales and, and running the hills and the beaches and stuff uh, I think we've still got a lot of lads coming back from injury, even from last year. And when there's a development team and an opportunity, it's fantastic because you know lads have their own little programs that they do. They're working hard during the week, but it is you know it is up to them on what they do outside of the training area. So to get them in and have a development game is great because some of the young lads today, you know, Charlie came off the bench today, and you know, the young lad coming through. We've got Tondo in the second round of the young lad. So just to give them games is fantastic and. Uh, yeah, looking forward to next week. Yeah, it should, should be a bit of pressure on some of the lads in the ones for the week after to see how they perform.